Today I'm going to do a review on the Nuna Demi Grow. This is a 2019 model. If you do want to see any other videos on this pram here, I have a video on how to wash it. I have a video of the combinations with the seat and the bassinet, also the capsules. And I do have a comparison between the Nuna Demi Grow and another baby Vista. If you wanted to see any of those videos, this is the Nuna Demi Grow in double mode, my preferred um, seating configuration for a young baby and an older child. The reason that is, is because if I just pop this little hood back to here, I can stand and push my frame. I can happily see Bug down there, see what they're doing. And if I just pop this peekaboo window open, I can also see my toddler. It doesn't help that I'm short. <laughs> I can also see my toddler. They are still facing forward and they're happy. They can see what they're doing. Um, that is my reasoning to us why I like this um, combination in double mode. So I have my young baby that I can still see and I have my old baby up the front and they can still see too. With all the combinations from the top seat, and the bassinet only lies down anyways. Yes, you do miss a little bit of your basket space, but normally people hang an appy bag over the end. And it will stay out of the way, even if it hangs down there. We kind of want to get a low center of gravity. It's not gonna tip. <laughs> there is nothing in this pram right now, and it's not even remotely tippy. Like that's a fair bit of force that I'm putting on there to lift it up. Like it's not hard to do, but it's not tippy. There's also good suspension if you can see that. <laughs> so I'm gonna go over this pram individually in um, pieces. So let's start with the seat. The seat has a lovely big hood. It has a mesh window here for a peekaboo window and or to let the um, breeze come through. It has a zip at the front, which will allow your dream drink to pop out, which is an amazing feature. It is a different material, but it's a nice material and it has the mesh vents in the side. So again, air can flow, but keeping all of that sun out, even with the pram lying down, it still keeps a good amount of the sun out more than a good amount, all of the sun come out. Like, <laughs> unless the sun is coming from down here and up, which is very bizarre. So to pop that away, you literally just, oops, bring it back in here. And we're just going to zip it back together. It's quite easy. The first time you do it, it's a little tricky, but then you just work out that if you just kind of pull the zipper together, it kind of just like goes in, if that makes any sense. And it helps if you're on the same size side as it. Now that I can see what I'm doing, it's going in a lot easier. Oopsies. The little flap here can be pushed in if you didn't want it. Um, the wood having that little bit extra or it can be pulled out. I personally like it out. The belly bar on the seat is a nice pleather. It has these cool buttons that move it up and down. I think this is mostly for the folding so that it can go smaller. The seat is lovely. It is a really cool design actually. It has behind here a nice comfortable padded seat, but you can also unzip it and it has a summer seat in behind here, which allows the breeze to go right through. So I will show you a close up of that. And then the bottom is still padded as well. So they don't miss out on their padding once you take this out. It's also good if they had an accident, you could take the seat out and just put a pram liner in for the, the day or the week that it dries, depending on <laughs> how long it takes. The footrest is a one-handed um, adjustment, which is really nice, but it only has a few adjustments to choose from. But I love that it's just one hand, just one button. Oh, back to the belly bar, I forgot. 
first you put your thumb in here and there is like a little button and it releases your belly bar. It doesn't swivel. I hate that it doesn't swivel, but it is what it is, I guess. It still comes up enough out of the way. I just hate how it like sticks there. Like that is basically the seat. I love, love, love how you take the seat off. So you have these two gray buttons on either side and it's like an ergonomical pickup because it's like a handle almost that you pick up. So you squeeze both and lift and you have like a comfort, an area to hold onto the frame to take your seat off, which I really love. So it can face you as well. Um, the weird thing is the recline. So you can see that the pram is sitting quite reclined at the moment. This is as far up as it sits. It's weird, but I guess usually the younger babies are sitting facing you, so they're not going to want to sit up fully straight anyway. So there's one, two, three positions when the pram is facing you. And facing the other way, oops, I missed it. We're on. <laughs> That's lying down, two, three, and it still doesn't sit up very straight, which is kind of weird. So with our bassinet, we have the boot cover that unzips. These are all the parts that I keep in it when I'm storing it. So this pram comes with two sets of capsule adapters. The capsule adapters will work with the Massy Cozy or the Nuna capsule. It also comes with two rain covers, so they go on the seat and the bassinet. I feel like there's some really nice little extras that you do get to have with the pram. Some really cool things about this bassinet. For starters, it has a beautiful uh, mattress cover. I don't know why, I love this fabric, it's really nice. The next thing I love about this uh, bassinet is the dream drape. So the dream drape comes out and just magnetizes onto the sides and then it keeps uh, completely covered up, which is a really nice feature. And then when you're done with it, it literally just unmagnetics. I just pull on it and I just tuck it in this little, it's got like a little section that it tucks into. Weird to explain, but that's what it is. At the front of the bassinet we have this really cool little pouch where you just unfold or unlatch it and you can pop your keys or whatnot in there and then it just closes over. It also unzips if you didn't want that there which is cool but I really love that feature. For the hood it has a little part that we can move up and the air can flow through the mesh which is nice. Or you can of course have it down to have complete sunlight out of there. On one thing I don't love about this uh, bassinet is to take the hood off. You have to press both of the buttons to push it off, which I find really annoying. It's I know why they do it. It just still frustrates me. You can choose multiple positions for it to sit at, which I like. So there's open, and then it goes back to here, and then it goes down. Um, the back to here is good for when you have it at the bottom. You can just pull it back enough so that um, you can see bub, which is a nice feature. But I hate having to have the two um, buttons to do it. But I know why, like I said, once you take it off, this is actually a carry handle, so it needs to be locked in place so that you can carry the bassinet, which, yeah, it makes sense. They want it to be secure. So that's everything about the bassinet and everything about the seat. Let's talk about the pram in general. There are these two nice little adapters down here that are really cool things. Right now I had them on and facing forward. This is because I had it in a double mode. So I wanted the seat at the front pushed as far forward as possible. Something really cool about these adapters is you can take them off and instead of them facing this way, you can swap them to face this way. 
And now the bassinet is up high and closer to you, which is amazing. And that can just be for single mode, so that bub is nice and close, you don't have to reach down to them, They're literally. <laughs> this is a good me height. I'd like to know how high I am. I think I am like, I don't know, I will <laughs> measure myself and I'll put it in this video. Three positions for the handle, right in, a second one and a third one, which is super high if you're tall, or just like me, this is enough. <laughs> Um, I do love that you can pop it up higher, but if you wanted it to fill the frame out more, you just take these two adapters off. There is a small little um, grey lever that you pull out, and that's how you take these off. Pull out and lift up. Now you can see the bassinet fills the frame out a little bit more. I don't really have to bend down, but you can see that I do, if that makes sense, like to touch both of my hands into the bassinet on the mattress, I do have to bend my weight down versus before, I did not. So I feel like that could be a really good thing if you've just, you know, had a baby. <laughs> um, there it is, how it fills out the frame. The basket I forgot to add on. This is pushed down for double mode, but for single mode, all I need to do is literally lift it out and push, or sorry, push, push the magnetic pieces onto each side and our basket is completely out and ready to be used. I mean, it can still be used like that, hold it down. It does have a zipper in here. You can pop a few little pieces in there if you so wanted to. We have nice suspension. I touched on that before. The handlebar is really nice, like a leatherette feel, and it has this really awesome feature on the end, which is a tiny little piece of plastic, and I'm probably sure you're like, what is that for? Mine is scraped because the handlebar, if it ever gets left up, it will catch on the ground. This piece of plastic will catch on the ground before the handlebar, therefore saving your handlebar, which is an amazing feature. I'll show you that soon. Um, I forgot to show you how to um, adjust the handlebar. It is two buttons on the inside, side up and down. It's not that annoying to do with the two hands. Here is the seat facing me in the highest position that it can recline. It still only has the three reclines without the adapters, which is kind of annoying, but it's not that bad, but we can also put those little adapters on and make the seat um, closer to us. Yeah. That is the seat up and closer to you. I'm not sure if it's completely necessary for the seat. It doesn't look terrible, but yes, if you have problems bending over or whatnot, you can easily get into bub. I'm not bending at all. Um, and then you can also have the seat forward this way, but again, I'm not quite sure of the benefits for this. last thing I have to show you for this pram is the fold. This is the best fold in the entire world. Honestly, <laughs> it stands up on its own. It does all the work for you. You have to do nothing. With this seat on, I hate folding prams with the seat on, but I will show you. It can fold like that. Grab these two levers and pull them up, and then I'm going to just kind of push the pram down a little bit, and it's just going to go. It is going to fold out. Whoops, that's an adapter thing falling out. That's fine. And then the safety, I'm just going to click into position and it is sitting upright other than the fact that the seat is on. I'll unfold it and then I'll show you the really nice fold that I really like. So we take the seat off and we just have the frame. If you're using this in single mode with the bassinet, you can't fold it with the bassinet on anyways. So this is how you will be folding it. 
it doesn't matter if you have these little adapters on or not, so just for the sake of it, I'll put these on. This is um, if we have the bassinet up facing us nice and high. So we're going to push the pram forward and we're going to roll it back, waiting for the wheels to go out front, if that makes sense. Then we're going to lift these levers and just let the handle walk down on its own. You can give it a push with your foot if you want to. And that's it. It is folded. It is standing by itself. The safety is locked in place. If you want to lift it, there is a handlebar here that is like a leather covered handlebar ready to go. And remember I told you about that little piece on, of plastic down here that has the... <laughs> Um, it saves the handlebar, that is also um, at the bottom there. It's not touching, but if the handlebar was to be left out, extended, then it would save it. To put it back up, you just push this little safety forward and really lift this handlebar. It's like I'm doing it with a finger. One finger I did that with, lifted the whole frame. Because you don't really need to lift it, it kind of does its own thing. So again, just literally walks down. Make sure those wheels are um, going backwards so that they can lock in nice and straight. Push the safety off and like lift it up with like one finger and there it is. I love the fold, it's amazing. I hope this video was helpful to you. If you wanna see other videos on this pram, like the combinations with the seat, the bassinet and the capsule, have a look at my other videos. This pram can also take two seats and two bassinets. I just don't have them on hand to show you the combinations or show you them. But they're exactly the same seat and exactly the same bassinet that can go top and bottom, which is really cool in my opinion. Uh, the seat on the bottom will only ever face forward, as in the bassinet. If you put that down, that will only face forward. The seat will only face forward, and the Maxi Cozy or Nuna capsule will only face forward. The seat at the top will face both directions, and you can, of course, move these around, which I find really cool, depending on which combination you have your pram. If you wanted to expand it wider, or if you wanted to shrink it in and make it smaller closer to you. We also have the little suspension tabs down the bottom. I haven't really played with them. We have the option for rough terrain or smooth surface. So it says up for rough terrain and down for smooth surface. So I guess it just makes it, oh wow, a lot stiffer. And if you have it the other way, now it's spongy. That's very cool. So I just kind of leave it on spongy just in case, you know. I did speak about the basket, how you lose a little bit when you use your bassinet. When you put a seat down there, you don't lose as much basket and you still have some front basket space. But I feel like with a double pram, you lose your basket. It is what it is. I'm just gonna push these forward. If you were to move the seat up or down, you could possibly pop a bag on there, but it just depends on how much space you have to get it in and out. Um, yeah, it's a little annoying. With the safety, it also swivels up and out of the way, which is a nice feature. I worry that an older child maybe will play with that and maybe like pull it off and break it. I don't know if that would be a thing, but maybe that's why it can be swiveled out of the way. Perhaps you can swivel it all the way down so they don't notice that it's there and then they don't play with it and break it on you. <laughs> I just think that overall this pram is a really lovely pram for a single and a double. I feel like they've done a really great job for the combinations and that you can actually do as many combinations as they say you can compared to other prams that say you can do like 16 combinations. but. They're combinations that don't move. For instance, you can put like a seat that faces forward, <laughs> but if you want a baby facing you, they have to also be sitting up. So like both seats are sitting up and if you have a baby that's facing you, usually they're younger and they want to be lying down or they're sleeping. So that's what frustrates me about some companies. But this company, actually, you can do the combinations and configurations that they have shown in their photos and videos. Thank you.
that's all I have now. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed my other videos.